everyone, it's Sevi. I'm back with another updated guide, this time for Ushi. Oh wait, I mean for this guy. In order to keep the Arataki gang from falling apart or getting caught, this guide will help you learn about Ito. In this video, I'll cover his kit, gameplay, constellations, best artifacts, weapons, and team comps. If you're interested to know my thoughts on whether he's worth pulling, you can check out my previous video linked below. But anyway, let's get right into it. Ito is a fun, simple, and hard-hitting character that can be played with only one brain cell and still get away with good results. His power comes from doing big damage during his bonking burst form, managing his special superlative super strength stacks, and chucking a bullet at your enemies. So how does his kit work all together? Ito depends on his burst to create his DPS window. Upon casting, his normal charged and plunging attacks turn into geo damage that can't be overridden by other elemental infusions. He's able to do crazy big damage since his burst converts a percentage of Ito's defense stat into attack stat, which is what his inherent basic attack multipliers scale from. It's important to note that the conversion happens upon casting, which means that any defense added after will no longer get converted into attack. Consequently, if you lose defense during his burst, it also won't affect the attack. It's like snapshotting the defense that gets converted. But also, if Ito receives or loses attack buffs during this period, then his damage will get affected as well. Geo damage buffs on him aren't snapshotted either. Ito's burst state will end prematurely if you switch out too early. So for Ito's team rotations, set up your team's abilities first so Ito can do his entire burst state uninterrupted. During this period, he also has increased attack speed but decreased resistance to elemental and physical damage. Ito does have high defense, so at least it's not that bad. But still, it introduces more survival risks. This is why having either a shielder, healer, or both is beneficial to an Ito team. Since his DPS is dependent on having his 70 energy cost burst, he needs both ample energy recharge and particle sources for burst uptime, which I'll get to in the later sections. Moving on, Ito's normal attacks consist of a 4-hit sequence. The unique thing about them is that even if you dash cancel or use his skill mid-combo, it will continue as if they weren't interrupted. For example, here, if I do the first and second hit of the combo, then cancel, it restarts back to the first hit. But for Ito, if I do the same thing, it doesn't restart and it continues to the third and fourth hit. What can make it reset is if you jump, so don't do that. Although, Ito's more of a charged attack guy. It's where his attack combos are really focused on and how he's able to hit fast and hard. Here, it works in tandem with another core part of his kit, which is the superlative super strength stacks. When you hold the charged attack button, Ito dashes towards the nearest enemy and starts to consume one stack per hit, allowing him to keep doing what's called Kesagiri slashes, which you can see are these upward slashes that can dish out the pain. These burst charged attacks also have slight AoE, so crowd controlling enemies will maximize his slashes and damage. Stamina is not a problem because he won't consume any as long as he has stacks. When he runs out of stacks, he does a final ground slam that deals a lot of damage and ends the combo. But if he doesn't have any stacks and you attempt to do a charged attack, he'll end up with this slow, weak Saichi Monji slash that will embarrass Ito, so avoid that too. This Kesagiri combo is basically the core of Ito's playstyle. It's fun, it's satisfying, and it's big damage, worthy of Ito's abs of steel. Speaking of steel, this video sponsor Steel Series just released their new free video clipping and editing software called Moments. Moments will capture the last few seconds of your gameplay depending on how you set it and even has an auto clip function. You can also change the clip size and quality, then edit it with text and GIFs for better meme material and finally share it wherever. You can do this for any game out there and with any graphics card too. Download Steel Series Moments from my link in the description or pinned comment and you'll receive a Genshin Impact Redemption code for Mora and Enhancement Ore. But by redeeming the code, you're also automatically entered into a Steel Series gear giveaway featuring an Arctis 3 wireless headset, Apex 3 TKL keyboard, and Aero. Xbox 3 wireless mouse. They choose one winner a day this month of June, so be sure to get moments for free on your PC and redeem the code to join the giveaway. Thank you SteelSeries for sponsoring this video, now let's get back to it. 
So you want superlative super strength stacks to bonk away, but how do you get these stacks? You can tell how many superlative stacks he has based on the construction of his glowing Oni mask. With every new stack, the mask lights up and a glowing dot is gained with up to 5 dots for 5 stacks. At C0, there are two main ways. First is via your normal attacks. If you're not on your burst, he gains stacks by landing hits with his second and fourth strikes of his normal attack sequence. The fourth hit gives two stacks, which is why it's helpful that Ito's attack sequence does not reset even when cancelled. But when he's in his burst state, he additionally gets superlative stacks by landing the first and third normal attack, meaning all four attacks now add stacks. Second is via Ushi, arguably the best part of his kit. Ushi is our favorite twerking bull who is chucked by Ito towards enemies by instantly tapping or holding it to aim. No matter how high and far he gets thrown, he'll always survive. Ushi also generates about 3 to 4 geo particles and one superlative stack upon hitting an opponent. On the field, he's considered a geo structure that can be pushed around. To make Ushi a geo nuke, use him during Ito's burst to deal more damage. You can still throw Ushi outside of the burst form if Ito really needs energy, however, you'd be missing out on Ushi's best damage potential. Ushi's dancing also attracts nearby enemies to focus on his twerking skills for 6 seconds, helpful for ensuring enemy aggro is drawn away from Ito. When Ushi takes damage from enemies or the environment, it also gives Ito one superlative stack that can be gained every 2 seconds via this method. Finally, when Ushi leaves the field, Ito gains one more stack. And those are all his superlative stacking sources at C0. Then for Ito's passives, his A1 passive lets his Kesagiri slashes increase his attack speed by up to 30% and increases Ito's resistance to interruption. When playing Ito's Kesagiri combo, especially with Goro, he will rarely ever get interrupted. His second passive just increases the damage of his Kesagiri slashes by a further 35% of his defense, making defense stats all the more valuable to him. And his exploration passive also lets you farm more wood, nice for teapot enthusiasts. So given all that, here are a few more important tips for his gameplay. You ideally want to deploy Ushi at the start and before the end of Ito's burst window. Ito's burst lasts 11 seconds, though this can be extended by hit lag, while Ushi's cooldown is 10 seconds, leaving just enough time to toss him out twice. This is because A, it's a good opportunity for Ushi's geo particles to reach Ito in order to recharge his burst, B, Ushi will deal greater damage during Ito's burst, and C, Ushi will provide superlative stacks at the start, and by the end, you'll have stacks saved for his next burst rotation since a stack lasts 60 seconds. Aside from fitting Ushi in his burst, Ito's damage ceiling combos consist of optimizing his accumulation and consumption of Kesagiri slashes. This is where Ito's more complex mechanics reveal itself. The great thing about Ito is that not learning combo rotations is okay. As long as you follow general stacking tips and unga bunga your way, he'll do just fine. However, if you're insistent on maximizing his potential, then learning his various optimal combos will be a rewarding experience. There are lots of potential attack combos and would require a full-length video to demo, but you can check out combo recommendations from Kaching Mei. There are variations depending on pre-stacking mechanics or having constellations, but the important thing is that you understand how the stacks and slashes work, and by doing so, you'll be able to adapt and improvise to the changing battlefield. As for his talent priority, if you strictly want the most cost-effective talents for damage, start with his normal attacks, which are still the main multipliers for his Kesagiri slash damage, followed by the burst, then the skill. But really, you're going to want to level them all up as high as possible. Now let's talk about Ito's constellations and what they add to his kit. C1 gives Ito superlative stacks on his burst cast and then you gain stacks over time too. This can make his attack combo more convenient to execute. It doesn't fundamentally change a lot with his gameplay, rather it's more of a quality of life tweak to his combo possibilities. 
C2 reduces Ito's burst cooldown and refunds energy depending on how many Geo units are on your team. The burst cooldown reduction isn't particularly impressive since Ito's burst should be ready even at C0 by the time you finish his team rotation. The energy refund is more desirable though since this reduces Ito's ER stat needs, letting you build more into his damage stats. C3 increases skill level, which means Ushi hits harder. If you're Ushi based, then undeniably Ito's best constellation. C4 gives your team added defense and attack, increasing overall survivability and damage for both defense and attack scaling characters. However, this will only take effect after your Ito's first rotation, so if your enemies are dead by then, then C4 won't really be used. C5 increases his burst talent, meaning more damage overall. Finally, C6 gives Ito's charged attacks a whopping crit damage bonus and a layer of RNG by giving them a 50-50 chance to not consume the superlative stacks. It's possible to extend his combo twice or thrice as long if you're lucky, but also it could just add maybe 2 or 3 extra charged attacks. It's RNG dependent, but regardless, the 70% added crit damage itself is already crazy. Now onto his build. Let's start with Ito's artifacts, which is a very straightforward affair. With the main stats, you want a crit circlet, a geo damage goblet, and a defense sands. Then for substats, prioritize reaching Ito's ER goal of 130 to 140%. However, depending on Ito's teammate choices and if they're using Favonius weapons, you can be more flexible with his ER. After fulfilling his ER needs, aim for crit and defense percent. Attack percent rolls aren't useless since Ito still technically scales on attack, but defense percent rolls just provide more value due to the burst conversion rate, his A4 passive, and the red horn if you have it, not to mention it improves his survivability. As for his artifact sets, your early options consist of two-piece defender's will, the berserker sets for crit rate, the martial artist sets to increase his normal and charged attack damage, or even the two-piece ER sets if you're lacking ER from substats. Come late game, you can also temporarily work with two-piece options of Petra, Husk, and Glad. But when you're ready to really farm for him, you have two options for his top four-piece sets. The Husk of Opulent Dreams and Retracing Bolide. What makes the Bolide set particularly good is the shield strength bonus, so you'll worry much less about Ito's survivability. But for best peak damage, the Husk is king. Just remember that you'll have to farm it along with the Ocean Hued Clam set, so be prepared to get tons of clam pieces before you get a usable four-piece set. Husk also pre-stacks off-field, so in Spiral Abyss, in order to build up the stacks, you can opt not to make Ito the first character. Then as for Ito's best weapons, he has somewhat more restrictive options due to his kit scaling, but very good options nonetheless. For the free-to-play choice, and even for low spender standards, go white blind. All you need is one billet to spare and you already have a top value Ito weapon. Don't forget to max its stacks before you activate your burst. From there, you can keep moving up. The next option would be Skyward Pride if you were lucky or unlucky to get it. It's theoretically close in damage versus a refined wet blind, but the biggest quality of life benefit it gives is the ER stat, practically addressing almost all the ER Ito will need to burst in the first place. Very helpful if you're not getting ER substats on Ito's artifacts. A paid upgrade from the battle pass is the Serpent Spine. It's just generally an extremely good 4-star weapon, much more with refinements, so no surprise that it's good on Ito as well. Though there are some caveats to note. 1. You can't pre-stack it simultaneously with the Husk set in Spiral Abyss. If you're using Spine, it's recommended to pre-stack the Spine buffs instead of Husk by putting Ito in the first character slot and get the Husk stacks while prepping for Ito's second rotation. 2. It makes Ito take more damage, which is addressed by either getting more refinements or ensuring he has good enough healing or protection. And 3. Ito will definitely want solid shielding to help you keep its stacks. But regardless of these quirks, if you can address them properly, the spine's damage potential certainly makes it worth it. Then his ultimate weapon is the signature Red Horn Stone Thresher. There are no conditions to fulfill and Ito scales extremely well from the buffs it gives. So much so that Red Horn considerably beats even an R5 Serpent Spine. It's a monster of a claymore on him. 
Other weapon considerations are as follows. A wolf's gravestone and the unforged technically work, but they're at the same power level with an R1 white blind that you might as well just give them to someone who makes better use of them and put white blind on Ito. The sacrificial greatsword opens up the potential for more Ushi chucking and addresses Ito's energy needs. But again, if you have the white blind, you could just use that and refine it, which is potentially better damage. Finally, there's the Black Cliff Greatsword, but the Star Glitter is definitely not worth it for Ito, and its refinement scale worse than just refining the White Blind. Basically, yes, the White Blind is that good on Ito. Lastly, who are Ito's best teammates and how do we comp him? Three or four Geo member teams are Ito's default comps. There are some pros and cons to Geo heavy teams. The biggest pro is that their rotations are very easy to execute due to not having to manage elemental application and reactions unlike multi-elemental teams. Note as well that Geo Resonance needs a shield to activate its effect. Thankfully, Ito has a lot of great Geo friends to help out with. The first mention is, unsurprisingly, the one and only Miss Hina, who's a match made in heaven for Ito. Miss Hina gives defense, geo-related buffs, and advice for Ito's personal problems, and he's got a lot. If you pulled for Ito, you should hopefully get at least one copy of her. If not, then that's just sad. Ito and Goro serve as the general core of Ito's triple or full geo teams. While Ito can technically work without Goro, you really, really want Goro to enable his best comps. There is a quirk to take note of though regarding Ito and Goro. If you use Goro's skill or burst, you should manually swap to Ito, then press his burst, rather than doing the burst quick swap shortcut. This is because if you do the shortcut, Ito's burst will cast too quickly and be unable to snapshot Goro's war banner buff. Next is the best shielder, Zhongli, thanks to all the protection and buffs he provides. In particular, his shield is the best to support Ito's squishiness, and if you're doing a 4 Geo team, having Zhongli is a must to keep up their Geo resonance effect. With Zhongli, it's also fun to have your Geo structures resonate, which is another way to generate crystallized shields and deal damage over time. Another great teammate is Albedo, a strong 5-star Geo sub-DPS contender who synergizes with Goro's defense buff and just adds to overall team damage. Geo Traveler is actually a pretty good choice despite being an honorary 5-star. They're a good sub-DPS, Geo Battery, and the crit rate buff helps balance Ito's stats. Although, they can either help trap enemies or accidentally trap you with their structures if you're not that used to their mechanics yet. One more notable Geo teammate is Ningguang. She can sub DPS, battery, and give added Geo damage with her screen. But more interestingly, she can be your team's healer by equipping her with Prototype Amber instead. Perhaps not the best choice, but it's workable. So if you're running a triple Geo team, the fourth flex slot just really depends on what role you still need to fill in, what character you have available, or maybe you need to break enemy shields since relying only on Geo for shield breaking might be tiresome. It really depends on your preference, but some honorary mentions are Bennett, who further buffs Ito's damage while providing always reliable heals, Fischl, who is just an overall great off-field DPS and battery, Diona for shielding and healing, very useful if you don't have Zhongli to shield, Kakomi or Chichi who heal a lot, Rosaria for some damage and crit rate, or Kaya for more mobile off-field damage. With elemental teammates, they also help you create crystallized shields for Geo Resonance uptime. You could potentially bring in animal units for better crowd control, but just remember you won't get any reaction synergy there. Another team comp question is if Ito could work with less than two other Geo teammates? Well, you're welcome to play around with such teams and they can be workable, though they are definitely not as top tier and recommended as his best Geo teams. Still, try coming up with your own unconventional comps. And that's going to be it for this updated Ito guide. Let me know in the comments if you're a new or old Ito haver and how you plan to build and comp him. If this video helped you out, don't forget to leave a like, consider subscribing to my channel for more Genshin Impact guides and content, and I will see you all soon. Take care! <coughs>
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear traveler. Happy birthday to you. 